Cooper, it's Deanne Love here. Welcome to another episode. Yeah, an episode of Grow With The Flow. This is a playlist that I am creating on my YouTube channel for us to synchronize our incredible and unique bodies movements with hoop tricks. They're flow sessions and I'm sharing quite a lot of them with you. I'm gonna break down the tricks and then we're gonna flow not just our hoop, our whole entire being, with the hoop as an extension of our brilliance. Are you in? Grab your hoop. <laughs> I am using a 90 centimeter polypro that I got from Super Hooper. You can use any size that feels good for you. We're going to adjust depending on the size of the hoop. If you are a total beginner, you can also follow along with this. There are going to be challenges, but there's challenges in everything in life. So. If you feel like you want to kind of groove with it, if it gets a little bit too challenging and you feel like you want some foundation moves, you just really want to rock the on body, then go over to learn.hooplovers.tv and I'll leave links down below for some free courses to get you grooving inside of your hoop. And if you do like these flow sessions and you want more, I always want more, <laughs> then every month I do monthly hoop dance flow classes. There are four full length classes with other goodies that's included in that monthly package, but links down below, get, let's get into it. Grab your hoop. This is a flow session that came from me just rocking out to this incredible song that I love by Alpha Mama. I'll leave links below for that as well. And it was just a freestyle and I love it and I wanna share it with you. Maybe you saw it on my Instagram, at DeanneLoveItXO. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. All right, the first part, I'm gonna break down just the tricks, the actual moves, so follow along, get it in the system, and then we start to groove with it. What I do in this flow session is I do bend down and I go down on my knees, or not right to the floor, but if you feel like that is too much of a stretch for where you're at right now in your body today, then we can modify. So the first move is to have the hoop in front of you. And right here, it's with you, it's touching you, it's balancing on you, but this is an opportunity for you to rock out in any way that you like. That might be arms, that might be hips. Now the hoop is going to wobble around. Sometimes if you push forward, it's going to fall forward. And this is a beautiful balancing act. Any time that we can come into co-creation with our hoop, we're amplifying and expanding our flow and our body awareness, our spatial awareness. So that yes, there's gonna be times when it gets like stuck on your boobs and like your, <laughs> on your pants and it's gonna fall down. But ultimately what we want to do is rock down low enough, again, um, really engaging through the thighs and making sure that you're feeling okay with your knees. But all we want to do is rock down low enough that we can bring our arms underneath the hoop like this, two hands under. Bring it up to, and this, you can stand up, whew, bring it up to about chest level, and then use your forearms to fold the hoop back. Cool? So we get down low enough, hands in, following along, and over. Now from here, again, this is a contact move, meaning we're not going to be gripping the hoop, but you got this. What you're going to do is, you can rest it against your chest if you like, and in momentum, that is in kind of dance flow, this is a little bit easier, but you're going to spread your wings out and the hoop will be touching kind of the outside of your wrist. You're going to create enough width in your arms that there is tension. So I'm not holding it, magic, but I am contact with tension, holding it in outer space. Now from here, what you're going to need to do, you can kind of just hold it this way. This is a little bit awkward. I can't really dance like this. So you're gonna use that tension, flip your hands over, and now you're like, okay, cool, I got this. So try that a little, get down low enough, underneath, we'll bring in the sassiness later. Bring it towards your body, contact. Elbows up, forearms up to bring it into this position here. You can stay here for a while if you like. This is actually a really beautiful space to hang out in heart connection with your hoop, open up those wings. Move until you feel, you might wanna do one hand then the other if two feels a little bit strange. But for me, when I'm circling around, it's not about trying to find that flat perfection, it's about trying to find connection. So, whoa, if I need to do one, then two, that's okay. I'm going to bring my dance move into it to allow the hoop to be an extension of me. So, but two at the same time, you might also press it against your back. And from here, we're going to move into a little bit of an orbit. You could do this for a long time if you like. 
hands are on the inside. But ultimately you want to get to the point where it's at the back and I'm going to use my right hand, take my left hand off, but at the same time we want both hands to come down. And notice what I'm doing, I'm holding tension in my arms so that it's almost like an isolation so that my wrist comes to behind my hip. And same here, you could drag this hand down your body. We'll get to that later. But really what we want to do, it's like both hands simultaneously go down. Unless you wanna, you know, do some other <laughs> amazingness. But ultimately what you're trying to do is stay in frame and isolate down. So bring the elbow in towards the back of the ribs. From here, you're going to pop the hoop out. So if this is not familiar to you, what happens is the hoop is going to do one circle forward. So see my hand, let's go. And your arm is going to do one extension out. Simultaneously, one forward or to the side <laughs> um, circle. So let go, hold on. And at the same time, out, in, out, in. Now this is happening in my back plane, out, in, out, in. Cool? How's that feeling? So let's roll through it. Get down low, heart fold on, turn in a circle, reposition the hands. Might feel a little bit awkward in the beginning. When you come to the back, both hands down at the same time and you might want to kind of pivot to the side, out, in. Cool? Awesome, all right. Now we're going to go up into, hopefully you don't have anything <laughs> kind of constricting your movement. If you do, let's, let's modify this. We might be able to take this bit out. I'll see how we go. So from the out in, <laughs> not the technical name for it, but out in, we're going to swing the hoop into the front plane. Then we're going to continue that pathway leading with the thumb up to the sky. Wrist is towards you and you're going to do a palm spin. So we let go, hold on. Does that freak you out? If that doesn't feel right, you can simply do like a flourish. See, I'm not letting go. So you could go bang, bang, if that's okay, if it's okay for your wrist. Otherwise, let's be safe wrist takers, why not? So we come to the front plane, up to the top, and what's going to happen, an incredible circus hooper taught me this, um, Karen in Melbourne, what you want to do is kind of think of like energy or motion coming from the center of your palm. And if you gently push that center of your palm with a flat hand up, it's going to support the momentum of the hoop as you do a full rotation and catch. So, full rotation and catch. Now, you're bringing the hoop down into the front plane. But if you've got the courage, what I want you to do is full rotation and catch two hands. So wrists are towards me, thumbs are together, pointer fingers are together, and we're going to bring it down in front as if we're going to skip. You can skip if you want. Too hard basket for me, so <laughs> I'm going to step through. Um, so push up a little. <laughs> catch. <laughs> Sometimes it's scary to look up. And later on when I go through the dance, I'll show you how I kind of bring my body up and really push into it. Um, and then two hands and what we're going to do, I step with my right foot forward. So right foot forward, I let go with my left hand, head, left hand, and then I stabilize here. So my right hand still holding the hip. And this was a mistake. I almost fell over. If you watch my Instagram video, <laughs> Um, at Deanne Love Exo, if you watch it, then I fell over. I went to, I was gonna fall on the floor. That happens. But in dance, we recover and we turn it into something else because we are creative beings. So what I did when I went to fall over, luckily, I mean, unless it's truly unsafe, I was lightly falling over. I made it very dramatic. <laughs> so bend at the knees, support the core and the back. Make sure your neck is in a, or your head is in a comfortable position. Bending down, plant the hand, and then come back up. So all of the activation essentially is in the legs, down, up, like a squat. If that feels ridiculous for you right now in your body, that is beautiful awareness. You can take your arm out and in. You could just look down and up. Um, you could just stand here, and that's okay, and that's beautiful. You could create strike a pose 
look at your hand, there are so many options for you. So never feel like if your body is not ready to do something, that you have to do nothing. So full expression, you might point your toe out, you might lift your chest, you might wiggle your booty. <laughs> Watch out for the hoop that's in your crotch. Now what's going to happen is we're going to move into a wedgie move and catch. If a wedgie or this kind of like internal thigh break is new to you, I do have some other tutorials, but I'll break it down for you right now. So I step through with my right head and left. So it's touching my left shoulder blade. I'm holding it with my right hand. And when I squeeze my thighs together, it is about halfway between my knees and my parts that I don't want the hoop to go into. So. At this point, what is going to happen is if you're opposite, then you're going to mirror me. As the hoop comes down, that is I let go with my right hand, I take my left knee over. Okay, so that's all you need to do. So watch my left knee goes over. Cool? Then the next step is left knee, right knee. All right, so coordination station there. Left knee, right knee. Cool, does that feel okay? Have a little go. Um, there needs to be tension in the inner thighs. So if you don't, if your legs are too far apart, this is gonna be really challenging because the hoop will just fall down. So create the frame, left knee, right knee. Notice that my feet pick up off the ground. That's how my legs like to work. Left knee, right knee. Now, if you want to, you can do a wedgie kick out. So we go one, two and I'm catching on the side here I'm not catching all the way up for this flow session I'll show you how that works step through with the right leg or the left in that case you'll be mirroring everything that I do you can do it and then with the hoop at the back we go left knee right foot up down and left catch on the hip so step through and then as the hoop drops down, left knee, right foot up and down. And I am pushing, I'm catching my hoop and I'm pushing it against my hip so I have as much space as possible here. Because what can happen is that your foot will get kind of caught <laughs> and I won't know what to do. So what I'm ultimately trying to do is use my hand in this particular variation Use my hand, so left knee. As the hoop comes up, I'm actually catching it and pushing it against my hip. So it gives me all the space and it gives me some control. But I've still essentially done a wedgie kick out because with momentum, it's off me, okay? <laughs> all right, there's a lot there. Have a little practice on any of those little bits. But let's see, we'll just quickly flow all of that together then we'll put the body stuff in. So we get down low, come along with me. We hook the arms under, we press it towards our heart. We take the elbows up and the hoop is here. We're going to simultaneously open our wings as we turn, change the position. Don't worry if the hoop drops. Use your thumbs as the incredible hooks that they are. Right here, right here. When it comes to the back and you feel confident that you can take both hands down together, very dramatically, out in. If you want to, out in and straight there. You could do two or out in and just to the front, up to the sky, up to the sky. Do it again, two hands if you like. Step through, down, up, left, catch and over. How does it feel? All right, let's bring, and you might have already been moving with this, let's bring some of our body work into it. In the move down, I was actually like, I've got my hair up today, but I was playing with my hair, I was being all sassy. I did have different clothes on, so <laughs> they didn't have like buckles and things on them that are going to catch. Um, if that kind of doesn't work for you, you could kind of step out and scoop under. If you're like, this is just crazy days, it hurts my knees, it hurts my thighs, I don't know how, I keep pushing the hoop. Modify, it's okay. You can do one hand, then the other. You can cross them over, you can have them out in front. Be experimental with your movement and your dance. 
from here, I like to really kind of like move into my hoop and notice that my hands open up so my heart goes into it, my palms face out, radiate that sunshine. <laughs> and then when I feel like I have the balance, then I'm going to position, reposition my hands. Anything goes here because you are in this full left and right control. Release the control, loosen up, and get in your own groove. How about that? When the hoop comes around to the back, this is a point to stand your ground, to show what you've got, to bring it down nice and slow. So that can be making shapes with the body, it could be bringing this hand down, and knowing that that can take a lot of coordination because you're like, what? I've got to isolate my hoop with my right hand and then touch myself with my left. <laughs> like, it's a lot, it's a lot. So just take your time and how about taking a breath? Oh, that feels better. Now we can move into it and out in <laughs> or stand still, out in or out in or out in. <laughs> So, there is so many variations that you can come up with. One move, full expression. Out into the front. Now here, what happens when I wanna go high, I get low. And what that creates is this like draw, it's like this jack in a box, it's this draw down of the spring so that I have full momentum to go up. Otherwise, I'm coming from this neutral position and I'm trying to uh, <laughs> come up. So as I draw the hoop in front, I'm slightly bending down with this beautiful tension. It's like the big cats, the pumas ready to pounce because we're down and then we can spring up very easily. You don't have to go super high. So as we come here down, notice though, spatial awareness. If you're too far down, <laughs> your hoop's going to crash into the ground. So you're finding like you might, you might go down with your knees, but your elbow might come up or your shoulder might come up. And then as the hoop comes to above your forehead, you can push up. I like to use right hand, right leg, but it's totally up to you. And bring the left leg up <laughs> wherever it wants to go. And then two hands together. Step, head, down, up. So much you can do there, remember? You don't have to do what I do. Um, and then we go left catch and over. If you want to stay in the continuous wedgie, you have full permission to use the hands, the body until you're ready to catch and bring it off and work it till the very end. So just because I know some moves like this, like the wedgie can be like, oh my gosh, am I doing it? Did I do it? Oh, I caught it. Oh, phew. All right, now I'll just finish. No, the flow still exists unless you resist it and pull away from it. So step through, down, up. Move your full, incredible, whole, entire body and breath and have the hoop as your extension. How does that feel? Do you wanna do it one more time? Are you okay? All right, let's pull it through. Down, 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 fold it over to the heart, open the wings, bring it around, play if you need to, to the back, both hands down, out in, to the front, above the head, two hands or one, step through, down, up, wedgie, fold over. Amazing. <laughs> now, of course, there is full permission that doesn't have to come from me. It comes from you and all that you are to express this little blueprint, this flow session, this thing that came out of my body and turn it into your body. And that, for me, is the ultimate joy of flow and hooping. If you do turn it into your own, I would love to see it. And you know what, when you write a comment, you don't have to apologize. I see a lot of the most incredible hoopers on the planet saying, I did Deanne Love's <laughs> flow session, but oh, it doesn't look like hers, or oh, I forgot it, or oh, it, it didn't really work out, or it's a bit messy. Be careful what you say to yourself. It is beautiful. The fact that you have the courage to stand up and give yourself incredible self-love and move through these flow sessions 
and broadcast it to the world, you are incredible. Never apologize for that. Big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.